All right, today I'm going to be uh, exchanging the brake fluid out on my 96 Mustang. I only drive this thing a couple hundred miles a year. I just got it out for the summer and uh, it felt a little spongy. I usually change the fluid out every two or three years. Uh, I did do the calipers, I think three years ago, all four corners, and that time I changed all the fluid out. So it's time for that. You can see I haven't driven it hardly at all because there's still a little bit of surface rust on the rotors from it uh, sitting over the winter. So the bleeder, which I'll leave a, uh, a link down below uh, where you can buy this from, but this is a Phoenix V5 and I will be reverse bleeding it. Works, that reverse bleeding. And I I wish that, that this had been around my entire life because it makes it easy and I, I think no matter how much vacuum bleeding you do, it still uh, doesn't have the pedal as reverse bleeding does. So with that, we'll uh, we'll go over to the bench. I've, I've got my rear tires off here, and I'm going to show you on the rear, uh, and then explain to you what I'm going to do on the front. But I'm not going to bore you with with having you watch me <laughs> bleed the brakes on all four corners. So with that, we'll go over to the bench, show you what I've got. Okay, first off, I've pulled the fluid, brake fluid, from the master cylinder. I'll leave a link where to buy this, too. I, I, I like this thing. Uh, I use it for, for a lot of fluid removals, including my lawnmower that doesn't have drain plug because they say you never have to change the oil, which we all know is BS. So I use it uh, every year to do that. Anyway, I'll leave a link for it, uh, and, and you can take a look at that but you can see how dirty the fluid was where it's been sitting in the car so coming over here is our our phoenix systems v v5 that's which one this is so i'll leave a link for that as well and i've got my clean fluid i just use the expensive dot three i change this out all the time no reason that i need expensive fluid i don't uh you know i don't run autocross or anything that i have to worry about the brake fluid boiling so i just use use an inexpensive just pick out the fluid that uh, best meets your needs as far as i'm concerned uh people can get in big argument about that i really don't care uh so we got this we got got clean fluid here in my mason jar and all i'm going to do now is just squeeze the trigger here until the entire system here is bled Let's see it making the bubbles over there as soon as it doesn't anymore you know what i don't think i have this pushed down in here far enough i'm probably not going to be able to do that without let me uh let me do that be right back all right i got that done i had been there all day trying to do that uh so now i should be pulling fluid pretty soon out of yeah there it goes we got fluid in, in here now. You can see it right there. Oops. And so we'll just keep doing it until we don't get air bubbles anymore. All right, there it is. Now, I did that a little bit off camera, but I, because I just couldn't do it single handedly. But you can see that all my air is out now. I got nothing but fluid in that chamber, and all my lines are now full. I'm on the uh it'll be the passenger side rear that's going to be the furthest away from the master cylinder that's where you want to start from it's the furthest from them from the master got my bleeder right here this uh one on here is a 7 16th so i got my socket and loosen that up excuse my camera work one-handed I probably should get a little tripod out and do this but I'm too lazy so then I simply put that on there what I'm gonna do is I am going to squeeze this thing six times one two three four five all right, I am done on this side. Now, 
the reason I, I, what I'm doing right now is I just want to get clean fluid up past the uh, junction block for the line that's coming from the driver's side over. Because then I'm going to go over there and I'm going to push fluid up to the master cylinder and keep pulling fluid from the master until it's nice and clean and clear. And that way I know my I'm completely uh, flushed out. By pushing this thing six times, I know that I got clear fluid in this line up past that junction block. I can block, I, I can turn this off, bleeder off, go to the other side, do it until I got nice clean fluid in the the other side. So that's where I'm going to go right now. All right, here I am on the driver's side. So this would be uh, the uh, third furthest from the master. I've already got flint, clean fluid, I know, coming across from the air side through the junction block and pushing up towards the master cylinder. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to take this fluid, add to that, start pushing to, to the master cylinder. Uh, probably every around every 10 pumps, I need to go up and suction out the fluid from the master cylinder. And I'm going to keep doing that. From here, adding fluid, pushing fluid through until I've got nice, clean fluid. And then I'll, I'll, uh, I'll, I'll come back. I'll tell you how I'm going to do the front. I'm not going to bore you with uh, showing you how I'm going to do the front, but it's a little bit different procedure. Okay, I'm back here at the bench. After doing the rears, this is my fluid now coming from the master cylinder. So uh, it took me about a pint. I would say uh, I'm, I'm about about halfway through this, so it took me about a pint to get to that point in my master. Now, what I'm going to do different on the front is rather than reverse bleed it at first, I am going to uh, vacuum bleed it, and all I got to do to do that is I just got to change uh, my my tube from the one that goes to the bleeder here. I need to put it back here to the one that's currently going into the fluid and just reverse those. And that'll create a vacuum. And then I can vacuum that off and put it, I'll have dirty fluid. So I'll put that into my mason jar and continue to fill the, uh, the master cylinder until I get a good clean fluid flowing. First, I'll start from the furthest wheel faster side then I'll go around to the driver's side and do it and at that point then I'll reverse these go back to what I've, I have here and I'm going to to uh, reverse bleed it just like I did in the rears and probably do a, um, probably about eight pumps off at the front uh, driver's side and come around and do another eight to ten I had that. I just said that backwards. <laughs> I'm going to go to the passenger side, uh, pump this probably about eight to ten times. Then I'll come around to the driver's side, do the same thing. That'll fill up my master cylinder pretty much. In fact, I may have to pull a little off of it, uh, but I'll check it. Either pull a little off or or fill it to to uh, where it's supposed to be, and I'll be done. So that's all there is to it to doing this. The reason I don't reverse bleed right away on the front is I'm just trying to reserve fluid. If I push all that dirty fluid back up in the master cylinder, I'm again going to go through a pint of fluid or more to get it clean again. Why bother doing that when I can just pull off a little bit from both sides, have it clean, then reverse bleed it, just make sure I got all the air out of it, and wrap it up. So that's what I'm going to do. Uh, we'll check the pedal and we'll come back. All right, I got the brakes completely bled and uh, fluid in the master cylinder is perfectly clean. I pulled it just, kind of pulled it to the front and back of the shop here, and applied the brakes. They feel really well. I got some other work to do to this before I take it out. And, uh, but actually, I want to pull it out, wash it, and bring it back in and apply, apply ceramic coating on it and, uh, and seal the top with, with some new sealer. But uh, anyway, it feels good. I'm, I'm done. Uh, I cleaned this. I just used uh, my brake clean 
I put some in in my jar and then I cycle it through all the hoses and everything and then go ahead and pull the tip off of it and spray down in to here and and squeeze it a few times get that all cleaned out really well and put it back in the package and that is all there is to it so uh, I hope you enjoyed the video hopefully uh, you see that that how impressive this thing is that it, uh, it takes longer to pull the pull the tires on you know most of the vehicles that I own it seems like the tires wrap around the the calipers enough I got to pull the tires so it takes me longer to pull the tires than it does to actually bleed the brakes and even with a complete flush like that probably start to finish I got 30 minutes in it and it's completely done pedal feels great I don't have to worry about it so like I say I'll leave a link uh, where you can buy this the uh, the siphon that I've got to pull that fluid out you could use this thing but the siphon's way faster and you don't have to keep going back and forth and cleaning this and 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 then siphoning the, that out so uh and, and that thing's relatively inexpensive so i'll leave a link for that some brake clean and that and you can click on that if you go into that'll take you all into amazon if you buy something under that link that i send you i make a couple of cents i was going to say a couple bucks i wish it was a couple bucks i make a little bit and it helps me pay for making these videos so again uh hit the like button hit the subscribe button have a blessed day